Hello everyone, I am Nabila Mehrin and today we are going to study sedimentary environment. The environment of sedimentary rocks deals with the study of erosional and depositional processes. What we are concerned with here the depositional sedimentary environments. For example, under what hydrodynamic, biological and chemical conditions a given rock was deposited. There is given three dynamic elements of environment where physical processes include waves and current activity, gravity processes, sea level changes and volcanisms. Biological processes include biochemical precipitation, biological reworking and sediments photosynthesis. Chemical processes include solution precipitation orthogenesis. Static elements of the environments are geomorphology of the depositional sites, water depth, water chemistry, sediment supply and climates. There are three depositional sedimentary environments which are continental, transitional and marine. Continental environment includes fluvial, alluvium, lacustrine, desert and glacial. Transitional environment includes deltaic beach, lagoons and estuarine and tidal flat. Last of all, marine environment includes nerite continental reef, organic reef and oceanic continental slope, deep ocean floor. In this picture, three depositional environments are marked rounded by three colors. Here, continental environments are those environments that are present on the continents like deposits on land or freshwater. Transitional deposited in environment showing the influence of both freshwater or air and marine water. Marine environment is only influenced by seawater. These are largely dependent on the depth of the water with two not notable expectations, submarine fans and turbidites. Now let's discuss this in detail. Fluvial landform is the landform created as a result of degradational action like erosion or aggradational work like deposition of running water. The fluvial processes may be divided into three physical phases such as erosion, transportation and deposition. Fluvial sediments are present in a diverse array of environments that range from tectonically quiescent continental interiors to actively subsiding continental margins and foreland basins. One of the examples of fluvial environment is alluvial fan. As streams emerge from mountains onto flatter plains, they deposit broad fan-shaped piles of sediment often consist of coarse arcosic sandstones, conglomerates marked by cross, uh, coarse cross bedding and lanes like channel deposits. Alluvial fans can be divided into debris flow dominated fans and stream flow dominated fans. Feeder canyon, fan apex, fan head canyon and fan two are part of the morphology of an alluvial fan. Next is river channel and floodplain. The fluvial processes include the motion of sediment and erosion or deposition on the riverbed. If the river carries significant quantities of sediment, this material can act as tools to enhance wear of the bed. At the same time, the fragments themselves are ground down, becoming smaller and more rounded. Fluvial environments include braided and meandering river and stream systems. River channels, bars, levees and floodplains are parts of the fluvial environment. Floodplains are covered by silt and clay. Next, lacustrine environment where lakes cover about 1-2% to 2 of the earth's surface. Open lakes are those that have an outflow of water and a relatively stable shoreline and in which inflow and precipitation are approximately balanced by outflow and evaporation. Closed lakes do not have a major outflow and have fluctuating shorelines. Warps are one of the major diagnostic characteristics of lake sediments. Large areas of the desert environment are carpeted, carpeted by wind-blown or aeolian sand. More than 125 square kilometers size are called sand seas. Smaller areas are called dune fields. Dune, interdune and sand sheet are three sub-environments. Wind is the dominant agent of 
sediment transport and deposition. Dust deposits, lag deposits and sand deposits are three kinds of deposits by the action of wind. Glacial is a composite environment that includes fluvial, aeolian and lacustrine environments. Glacial ice often deposits narrow ridges, layers of sediments in valleys and widespread sheets of sediment on the plain. Sediment deposited directly from glaciers on land is called till. If direct deposition from a glacier cannot be proved, dialect is used for poorly sorted, unconsolidated glacial deposits. Now let's study transitional sedimentary depositional environment. A delta is a body of sand deposited when a river flows into standing water. Deltas are classified as fluvial that means river dominated, tide dominated or wave dominated. Marine deltas form at the interface of continental and marine environments. The Ganges Delta is a river delta in the Bengal region of the Indian subcontinent consisting of Bangladesh and the Indian state of West Bengal. The next example of transitional environment is beach or barrier island. A barrier island is an elongated bar of sand built by wave action. Well sorted quartz sandstone with well, well grounded grains is deposited on beaches. Barrier island beaches are similar to mainland beaches but are separated from land by a shallow lagoon, estuary or marsh. A semi closed wide body of water between a barrier island and marine land is a lagoon. Estuaries are considered in a general sense to be the lower course of river open to the sea. Wave dominated and tide dominated are two types of the estuary. Next is tidal flat. Tidal flats are coastal landforms that experience regular tidal inundation and exposure. They are characterized by fine grained sediments such as mud, silt and clay. Tidal flats can vary in their physical and ecological characteristics based on factors such as tidal range, sediment supply and local environmental conditions. Mud flats. Mud flats are tidal flats dominated by fine grained mud sediments. They typically form in sheltered, low energy environments with minimal wave action. Mud flats are often associated with estuaries, lagoons, and areas protected by barrier islands. Intertidal mud flats. These tidal flats are located in the intertidal zone, which experiences regular tidal inundation and exposure. They are found in a range of coastal settings and can vary in sediment composition and ecological communities. Now let's know about the marine environment. Reef. A reef is a shoal of rock, sand, coral or similar material lying beneath the surface of the water. Massive limestones form in reef course with steep beds of limestone breccia forming the seaward sea of the reef and horizontal beds of sand sized and fine grained limestone forming landward. There are two types of reefs continental reefs and organic reefs. Oceanic environment includes continental slope. Continental slopes are regions of steeply sl sloping seafloor that lie between continental shelves and deep ocean basins. Regional gradients are typically 2 to 5 degree, but local slopes may be much steeper. At the bottom of the continental slope, one finds the continental rise, a geologic feature that is created through the very slow accumulation of sediments. Finally, deep seafloor. On the deep seafloor are deposited shale and grave wakey sandstones. Finally, deep seafloor. On the deep seafloor are deposited shale and grave wakey sandstones. The grey wakes are deposited by turbidity currents and typically contain graded beddings and current ripple marks. Here you can see major diagnostic characteristics of sedimentary environments which are given in a table. 
Below that, I write down the references from where I collected those information. That's all for today. If this video seems helpful to you, please like and subscribe Art Detective and also visit our YouTube channel where we uploaded lot of videos based on art science. We also organize the videos in playlist based on topics. Feel free to explore and suggest us what you want to learn from us. You can also check description for links of our social media website for resources, PowerPoint file and further discussion. Thanks for watching.